We decided, a group of scientists about three years ago or so, that what we needed to do was get leaders in the field of neuroscience and stem cells in one room. This is a spinal cord workshop here and we're bringing together people, world experts from around the world to Athens, Georgia to talk about what's the barrier to a cure for spinal cord injury. And there's a lot of networking going on and sharing of information that is still unpublished and, and so we, we help each other that way. You've got uh, wonderful researchers, you've got uh, people who have amazing experience with spinal cord injury and talking in an informal setting, cutting edge stuff. Regenerative medicine, it's, it's sort of like the race to the moon. They're gonna be, you know, for the, it, it's like being 1962 and, and you just know it's imminent. We're excited about having this group here today. These are the leading experts around the world in, uh, doing embryonic stem cell research. Can get uh, people like Hans Kirstead and, and Doug Kerr to come unless uh, this meeting has a reputation that goes way, way beyond. I'm really excited to be here um, in the company of really the full spectrum of experts that it's going to take to move something from the bench to the bedside. We discovered that we could actually attract some of the best neuroscientists in the field to come and talk in Athens if they were also going to have a tour of the Shepherd Center after its renovations. We've just toured the Shepherd Center, which is an amazing facility, and uh, I've seen nothing like it. They've been here this morning touring the hospital, and we love letting them see the nuts and bolts of what we do, both in uh, intensive medical care and rehabilitation. It gives them a chance to see what their work can do at the human level, rather than just looking at cell division in the lab. Shepherd are really taking a national position of leadership and opening a translational research laboratory that's going to focus on complete injuries and it's a very unique opportunity. A lot of discussion has gone into translational research. What is it? Who does it? Where does it occur? Dr. Keith Tanzi, our director of spinal cord injury research, is really rethinking some of that a bit to say why not make it a two-way street where yes you have things going from the lab to the clinic but why not have questions that arise in the clinic taken back to a, a more basic science laboratory to, to find the answers. He's a very smart, very thoughtful, and very passionate guy. I mean, he's going to do great things for research at Shepherd. There's a huge potential with stem cell biology and uh, cell replacement therapies. Uh, there's a long distance between where we are today and where we'll be for a cure, but the great thing is that the research has started and we'll be able to move down that path. The Shepherd Center is the only critical care hospital the country of the 14 that does clinical research, does clinical trials, and has an intensive care unit. That's why th this sort of conference is so important, to bring national leaders to the table and expose them to the wonderful work that's being done in Georgia and forge collaborative partnerships that's going to help us move forward. Shepherd Center represents one of the very few centers in the world, perhaps the leading, taking the next step. I think it's a very exciting time, and there is um, definitely evidence now that we may have a way to repair or treat the spinal cord better after injury so that there's less damage and better opportunity for recovery. And the exciting thing for Shepherd is that we are well positioned not only to provide the best care now but also in the future. Next year we hope to bring more people together at this conference. We're just expecting more and bigger things to happen.